Hello everyone and welcome to Joe and Zach Survival. Today I'm going to be doing a video here. It's a VR in uh, response to 255 Sages channel, Linda's channel, and uh, this is to her 1,000 subscriber contest. Um, I usually don't do VRs and I don't do tags and um, now last week I did a tag and now this week I'm doing a VR. <laughs> But it's all for people that I really enjoy, and if you have not checked out Linda's channel, that's 255 Sage, I would go over and check it out. She's got some very informative videos on cooking and um, money-saving ideas and stuff like that. She's just a really great girl, so check her out. Now, on this uh, video response that she's doing, people are going to be voting on this stuff, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make shish kebabs. I'm probably going to have to look that word up to make sure I spelled it right. It certainly isn't an American word, I know that, because it would be meat on a stick. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not going to get any votes by just doing that, so we're going to have to do a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be using some pork and some nice vegetables here, and another thing we're going to use, be using is a deer heart. So I'll just come off that deer that I shot this year in Minnesota here, and um, we're going to get this taken care of. I've had my skewers sitting in there. They're smoking in water right now so they don't burn. So they've been in there for a good hour now. So One thing our family just loves, the deer heart. I, people that don't eat it, I don't understand it. <laughs> it is the best. And with this here, I'm going to do this, and I'm also going to do pork. Because there certainly is no fat that's going to be flaring up off of this heart at all. It's very lean meat. Okay, now that I got the meat all cut up, um, I went to uh, pick these fresh today from the Walmart garden. Just a few hours ago. <laughs> I'm going to get these washed up and we'll cut these into chunks as well. I'm not going to be using all of these up. Uh, the other ones I'm going to throw into the dehydrator, but I wanted to get some color in here, not just green. So I bought some different colored peppers. So I'm just going to do three onions here. Just get a couple of chunks on each one. We get the onions done, and I've got some fresh mushrooms here that I just um, I just washed them up. And most of them I'm going to leave whole, but some of the bigger ones I'll chop in half. I just think this is. I really like mushrooms when I do shish kebabs. Okay, so the only other thing that I'm going to add to this is I have cherry tomatoes, and I bought these and got them washed up here, and usually the ones I've been getting, them, they're really little ones all the time, but they had these nice big ones today there. These are more like the type I grow in the garden. So we're going to throw this in there too. So we'll have tomatoes, mushrooms, some onion, some pepper, and our venison hearts. And our okay. pork. Well, I think I'm going to start with the pepper, and then let me go for some pork, mushroom. I just put this stuff on because usually when uh, we, whenever I do these, I'll do them on the skewer like this and get them cooked up, and then when they're all done, maybe the first time you'll put it on the plate on the skewer. I mean, it looks good that way and everything, but um, there's always more than you're going to eat, so it all gets into, ends up gets taken off and thrown onto into a bowl or something like that to be eaten later. So it doesn't really matter how I put this on here. It'll, in the end, it'll all get eaten. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is I washed up my counter, and I am just going to take and get a little salt and pepper on these. I'm not going to do much for seasoning other than that because I just want to kind of taste the natural taste. A little kosher salt on here. All that's really doing is sticking to the meat anyway. And I'll put a little pepper on there. And I don't really need to put that on one side. Okay, so the last step I'm going to do here before I put them out and cook them is I want to get a little bit of oil on these just so we get a little bit of a flare up and try to keep it a little bit, you know, not too dry. Okay everyone, well they're all ready to go. Ready to go and be cooked. Um, if nothing else, they're very colorful. <laughs> and 
let's go get these cooked up. All right, everybody, we're going to cook these on the fire. You didn't think I was going to bore you by throwing them out on a gas grill or step it up a notch and throw it on a charcoal one. <laughs> this is Joe and Zach's survival, and just because I'm at home doesn't mean I don't have a fire pit. We've got a couple of them here. So let's throw these on and cook them up. They're coming along real good. If you guys could smell this, you would be voting for this video right now. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Okay, everyone, some of these are done. So we're going to take them off. And I'm, I opted to do it on a real low, low coals because the, the vegetables get burned so much as it is anyway. And these are looking really good. So I'm going to pull off the ones that are done, and of course I still have some more that need to go back on. Okay everyone, that's what they look like when they're done. They look good. The meat is perfect. The vegetables are tender. Let's get this on a plate. Well, there it is everybody. It's all finished. I'm just going to serve this with uh, some hot homemade bread here, a glass of milk, and uh, it should be delicious. Um, Zachary, he's out with his girlfriend Samantha, so he'll have to heat his up in the microwave, and I'm going to eat mine right now. Uh, Linda, you got a great channel. Um, I, I love watching your videos, and uh, everybody, if you like this, please vote for me. Thanks a lot for watching the Joe and Zach Survival Channel.